<laughs> Goodbye! Fucked off. <laughs> Fuck you, dude! Oh, all this for Temi Village. All this for fucking Temi Village, man. There it is. That's the line. Ah. Alright. Well, at least... Hey, save point, so... You restore your health. You feel something. You're filled with... Determination! I love that one! I wonder if this egg is related to the egg that we find in, um... In, uh... Under Delta Rune. Probably. I feel like I'm being watched. Hmm, gee, I wonder Statue why. Statue of Tim. Very Bur famous. Very. Tem heard human allergies. Allergics to Tem. Oh, Tem heard human allergics to Tim. That, okay. Tem understand. Tem. I'm glad you cut out the D on the end Also there. allergic to Tem. And then, yeah, <laughs> there's there's a bunch of hives. She breaks out in the hive. She's great. allergic to her herself. Hives! <laughs> <laughs> Mushroom dance. Oh damn it! I Mushroom dance. The, I, I'm my face is covering him up, so my yeah. There we go. His it eyes. It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my hyphae. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. So I'm in Demon Souls. I'm running a uh, knight. A knight. A knight with a with a strength build, pretty much, and just focusing on endurance. But I had. In order to fight Flame Lurker, I had to increase my magic a little bit because Flame Lurker is extremely durable to oh, physical attacks. Oh, I did that attacks. completely. Yeah, durable to physical attacks. Hoi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend. Timmy! Hoi, I'm Timmy, and this is my friend. Timmy! That was a weird pause. Hoi, I'm Timmy, <coughs> don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. <laughs> the only normal one out of this. This place. Oi, you should check out the Tim Shop. Yeah, yeah, agrees. Should check Tim Shop. Uh, can I get back here to see this painting? Yes. Rich history of Tim. It's a very rich history of, of Tim her riding a dragon. dragon. Yeah. Oi, welcome to Tim Village. Welcome to Tim Village. Welcome. Actually, welcome, because the E makes the long O sound there. <laughs> Two HP. Discount food of Tem. College, college Tem pursue higher education. You don't have the moons. The, the moons. A so, thousand G. No. Finish, finish, finish you. Uh no. Finish. Uh, Welcome to the Tem shop. So so what you can do here is with the dog residue, you can generate an infinite amount of uh amount of, of uh, money because Tem will buy the dog residue for like for like whatever amount even if it's just one gold she will still buy it and you can generate an infinite amount so essentially once you get to the temp shop you don't need to worry about money for any at any if you at all. have like the fucking patience to deal with the dog residue copying it copying it copying it selling it copying it selling it copying it yeah but as long as you don't sell it like immediately yeah <laughs> oh it's that, for four gold a piece okay yeah so, uh, these all heal the same amount, and they all cost <laughs> the same amount. <laughs> or no, they all cost different amounts. Boy! Uh, I, was say I was saying about the Flame Lurker. So the Flame Lurker has been, uh, decidedly by the community, one of the hardest bosses in all of Demon Souls. Yes. And I beat him, so it's only downhill from here. So are we going to fight the optional bosses too in Dark Souls 3? Yeah, why not? Oh boy. Jesus boy, it's so a to co-op this shit. We're gonna co-op this shit! So here's a question for you. What? I have to wait for <coughs> you to play through Dark Souls 1 and 2. No, you don't. I just played 3 and then. But you don't know the story of the Lords of Cinder and the Ash and Does one. it matter? I mean no. Story You're right. the story's really more in the background. It, it's really up to you if you want to go out reading for it, but it's really cool. It is really cool, but I have to read a whole bunch of item descriptions for that. And yeah. I will do that in my own uh, time. It, fine. But oh gonna... yeah, that's why. That's why I I'm taking so much damage because my defense is down. It's blasted. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I was like, oh yeah, that's I I opted to do that. Which means Asgore so, is gonna be fun. Item. Okay, I put that away. So what I'm gonna do is just go back and instead of the 
Instead of the uh, the cloudy glasses, I'm going to wear the tutu because it has more defense. I can't remember her name, but there's a bot. I think she's optional in Dark Souls 3. Huh? Uh, go on. Optional boss? A optional boss, Dark Souls 3, where she actually goes to a tempo of, of... She actually has like a tempo to how she attacks. It's like a 4-4 four, four time attack. forgot what her fucking name is, though. So that's my half of my health. Queen of the something or rather. All right, yeah, that's that's all of my space. That's half of my health, so that's good. Queen of the It's like the white nether? queen or something. White queen. She white and she a queen. I mean, I could totally be fucking like bullshitting too. Could oh be. yeah, and there's the um. Isn't the, the seven storm? Sins. Isn't the storm seven sins? Wait, that's Dark Siders three. What the fuck? Yeah, that's Dark Siders. I was at the GameStop where I bought the triple trilogy collection. I was uh, watching a, th there was a uh, video where these, the chicks, you know, were talking about um, Darksiders 3. And I said, and I heard seven deadly sins, and I was like, wait a minute, seven deadly sins? Yeah, I'm actually, I am interested in Darks, like, Darksiders 2 was good, Darksiders 3 was great. I just didn't like Darksiders 1. Ow. Fuck you, Tem. I watched to find her. Oh, there she is. Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Oh, I thought she was required. Oh, she's. Oh, I guess she is required. But you know what's awesome about the the game though? What is that? Uh, when you beat bosses, you can make their like weapons and yes. you can make their armor, and it looks and you yeah, it just looks and so cool. And that's why we're gonna go fight around. the nameless king. Yes. Even though yes. he's gonna violate us. Hey, it won't be so bad. But then we get his fucking lance and it his won't armor. Be so bad. Yeah, exactly. We get his cool ass stuff. It's his lance is fucking dope. Dope as all hell gets. Out. Although I do wish you could get like Gwen's sword. That'd be kind of cool. Well, how did I do this? Ah, oh, damn that? it! That was impressive. That was so you were doing oh! so well. I almost. Oh, and you yucked it almost, up. Almost, yeah. And then I yucked it up. I yucked it up so hard. Gotta unhug that boy. I gotta unhug, unhug him. Unhug that glorious boy there. Stay away from the bottom of the screen. Do -de -do -de -do -de. See those enemies where it's like where it switches up, where you have to like stay still and like grab things. Just oh, they're the worst. Yeah, I, I agree. When you have to stand still, you're like fuck my dick. Yeah, this way, this way. Oh, you fuck fucked me. it up. I did fuck it up. I thought you're the one who knows how to like you, know, you always stay right in the maze. No. If you can clearly see the paths you can take in the maze, why the fuck would you take the clear <laughs> paths in the maze? <laughs> right? The game gives you dis a distinct advantage here that you... Oh, God. Well, a that distinct was... distinct advantage in, um... In this. No, 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 Wow, how the flying fuck did I do that? Although we should do all the optional things oh. for the Lords of Cinder. Yes. Get the you know get the knights to join us. Like um, Brahms' friend. I forgot his name. The Onion Knight. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, I forgot what his name is. Yeah. I Praise can... the sun. But that it's so sad because he sees him. He's like, oh my friend, I can relieve you from this. And I'm just like, oh god. Speed boosts. Um, remind me the big dog with the sword. Is that in Dark Souls or Demon Souls? That is in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1. Is Sif and yeah, his... Yeah, Sif the Great and there Hound. Is <coughs> <coughs> when you go through the um, Artorias of the Abyss DLC, there is so much sadness in, in his fight later on because you, you summon him to help you fight one of the bosses. Mm -hmm. He helps you um, and then you learn that Sif was shielded by Ar Artorius. Artorius uses his shield to, to um, shield the poor little guy mm -hmm. from the darkness. And, and then he gets taken by it. And then Artur yeah, Artorius gets taken by it. And his last act of um, his last act was to make sure that his friend was safe. Uh, and you have to like kill Sif in order to progress through the game or something. Yeah, he's blocking your way. I think this is just darkness. Yeah, it's just darkness. You, you're just gonna be um, 
Yeah. Behind you. Hola, señor. <laughs> Seven. Seven days. <laughs> All right. Okay. So there's 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 this there's this uh, hentai called the Denshi Denshi Tenshi bitch something whatever and. It, it is literally a, uh, a little story about all of the ghost legends that in, in Japan, except they're all just extremely horny, slutty schoolgirls. God damn it. It's, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. And then when you said seven days, I was like, oh my god, she's in that in that thing. You watch a video and she ruins your life. You mean the fucking ring girl? Yeah, the ring girl's in Sam? there. Sam? Oh my god. Yeah. Or, uh, Samura? Yeah, Samura. No, uh, um, I think... Sadako. No, her name is Sadako. No, the ring girl? Yeah, ring girl Sadako. Well, the Japanese one, yeah, Sadako. But oh, the well, American, the American, American Samara, I think. Okay, so anyways, uh, she's talking about the seven souls while I had this weird tangent on hentai because of your fucking... Because <laughs> of that. Um, yeah. Anyways. Anyways, back to back to the game. Understand, human? Puny human? Grip up your soul or I'll tear it from your booty. And you know, like, when you get later through the game, the game kind of makes you want to almost, like, kill give her. up. Not kill her, but, like, give up and let these monsters go free. Right. <laughs> like, especially right near the end, when they give you that huge, long list of exposition and the music hits you just in the right moments. You mean when they're explaining what happened? Yeah, when they explain yeah. what happens and the music is just is just going that, along with it I in such you, amazing When you first way. had me play this game and I had to go through all that, you, I was reading every You were like, read it out loud, and I was like fucking trying not to break because it was such a sad story it's so oh uh, yeah it and is. the music makes it fucking worse toby fox you fucking genius and that's still my favorite song throughout the entire his theme is my favorite it's super good and if anyone's wondering yes then it's called his theme so uh can i nope you just go how follow the hell her. did he how the hell did he get oh okay so you see he reminds me of a joke why did sally fall off the swing because she had no arms? Knock, knock. Who's, who's there? there? Not Sally. Well, she could have knocked with her head. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> boom, boom. Who's there? Hmm. If I say my wishes, you promise you won't laugh at me? Yeah, so this is a story between... Between uh, uh, Bluk and Metaton, I think it is. Of course I won't laugh. Uh, I, th I think you're right. Maybe. Yeah, someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under, standing under the <coughs> sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. See, in the genocide run, you don't get this because everyone's dead, so they don't. No one comes through to right. make this uh, make this wish, right? So but it's just funny. You you only get this in the neutral or in the um, pacifist run. Now uh, the prophecy. And this is what Gerson was talking about. They will return. They will return, and the underground will go empty. So I think it said those who have seen the. Uh, How are you on the confirmed? Um day of, or like time of when Delta Rune is supposed to be like coming out completely? No. Toby Fox in his tweets said that this could take like a couple of months or it could take like 9,999 years. Fucking dick! Um, he didn't give us a, he didn't give us a time. But I imagine if he does end up making the next chapter or the entire game, it might be something cryptic like what he did uh, to when Delta Rune first released. Fuck. Like, hey, welcome, and then here's the link, and then you see, oh my god! It's an anagram of Undertale, and you're like, aww, oh. boy! Oh god, I'm just looking at, we have, you know, the Curse Rod of Greatwood, the old Demon King, Osiris. Osiris. I think the hardest boss, though, might be Osiris, because he's just, ma he's a maniac. He's, he's super a aggressive yeah. in the second stage. He just charges you. All the time. He violates you, too. But I think if we can get through, you know, at least half of the game, at that point, it's just, it, it could just be like a war of attrition. <laughs> oh, fuck, what did you say? Please. No. Yo, Yo what? what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I'm, I'm such, such a turd. turd. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. And then he, like, falls off. Yep, there it is. Yeah. Because he was like, no, I... And... 
Yeah. You're going to let him fall? No. No, no. Why would I do that? Undine. <coughs> you, you, you say... You, and you, 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 know, you know, during that entire section, too, my hand on the keyboard when I first went through this was literally making every single motion to get over to the kid as fast as possible. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 fuck off, Undine. No, 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 you're going to make him drop. If you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through my armless ass. 